Hello there. Let us look at the operator precedence lecture 1. We know <coughs> that some programs <coughs> may have expressions to be evaluated for a specific result. The expressions can be arithmetic, relational, logical, or maybe an assignment expression. Which means <coughs> an expression can contain now the operands which can be either constants, variable type, which should be legal, wherein the operator should be able to operate upon. It may be a function call. And then, so, Operands can be either constant, variable types, function call. <clears throat> they can also be sub expressions if you want to call it them as. So Based on the expressions and uh, the operand types and the rules that are applied with respect to use of operators with specific type of operands. So the operators can be classified as say um, arithmetic, then we have operators are called relational then <coughs> we have operators which are logical so we also have operators which are termed as increment decrement we have operators which are bitwise we also have operators which are termed as cascaded Then we can have, we have operator which is also called conditional. And then we have operators which are again termed as unary and binary then there are again uh, operators which are some special type of operators so 
one type of operator is maybe a function call the square bracket uh, <coughs> operator then there is something called an indirection operator <coughs> <coughs> then there is something called a dot operator there are also some special type of operators again uh, which um, can be termed as uh, special operators which is we have something called size of operator there is <coughs> also an operator called type operator We'll see each one of them in detail in the lecture series. Then we <coughs> also have a operator which is called comma operator. And uh, there are uh, <coughs> there is also this. Uh, operator which is uh, <clears throat> termed as maybe say <clears throat> I think we looked at uh, almost all the operators here so we can classify our arithmetic operator the result of which uh, uh, will be a an arithmetic uh, result of any type of course uh, arithmetic expressions also have uh, several uh, what is called uh, <coughs> rules based on the operand type so these are our operators so our operators the arithmetic operators could be your regular uh, plus minus star <coughs> and division and uh, <coughs> there is also this operator which is a modulus operator so the result of this will be an arithmetic value all right <coughs> so we have uh, relational operators which we can call them as a less than greater than equal to now when I say equal to this becomes uh, double equal to operator uh, which is again for checking for equality so we have uh, cascaded but of course there is a different meaning for a cascaded thing which we'll see later not equal to <clears throat> so we also have less than or equal to greater than or equal to okay so these are uh, typically termed as say uh, relational operators so we have logical operators as well which results in a logical value so we i can call them as say double and maybe double or so this is our operator <coughs> so I can also term this um, also increment and decrement operator which we call them as a plus plus and minus minus so we have this bitwise operators which are again <coughs> and operator the XOR hat operator <clears throat> then uh, we have a OR operator these are uh, certain uh, bitwise operators so then we have this uh, 
cascaded operators which can be termed as say plus equal to then we have minus equal to then we have star equal to we'll see the examples of each one of them later we have something called division equal to and then mod equal to <clears throat> then we have hat equal to then we have or equal to we have okay, we also looked at bitwise operators which were also called the left shift and the right shift operator we will add so that can also cascade them equal to so these are uh, cascaded operators and we have a typical ternary operator which is also called conditional operator which is our question mark and a colon okay uh, <clears throat> so there are a lot of such uh, operators uh, we also have an assignment operator So which is our equal to. so <clears throat> these are our assignment operators I think we are getting confused with this uh, minus I'm using that as hyphen so I just remove them so that since these minus is also operator. so if you look at uh, this uh, entire aspect uh, there is, uh, we had to also look at our unary binary operators. So we have this unary binary operators, uh, uh, we can use uh, plus, minus, star, these are our unary operators, okay, so which can be, uh, which have of course a higher priority, which we will see when we go to the uh, subsequent lectures. And uh, there are also this. Uh, operators where there is an exclamation operator so which I can put it from there here and there is also this negation operator uh, <clears throat> so these are a certain set of operators which we are going to help us in uh, uh, using these for evaluating expressions okay so I hope that we have not missed <clears throat> any of the operators uh, hope that we have covered almost all the operators. so I've just done this uh, rough cal rough classification uh, some of may have some intersection uh, so we have five operators here 5 plus 8 13 plus 2 15 plus 2 17 22 32 33 37, 41, and 45, yeah. So we have uh, 45 operators in C plus C. This we should remember, okay? So, <clears throat> hope that you understood the introductory lecture. We will look at lecture 2, okay, in our subsequent videos, okay? Thank you very much.